one thing that I've that I've found to be I love most is to learn. To express myself. I've been keeping paper journals since I was 11 years old and I'm 38 years old now. I've also kept an online journal. I vlog and you know I, I, I take photos. I've just had this need and desire to express myself throughout my life. Not always consistently, but it's something I always return to, especially writing. This journal would be journal number 38. So I'm 38 and I'm on my 38th journal. It's not one for every year. I write sporadically, but I find that, that was my finger. <laughs> I find that when I do write regularly, that I feel the, I feel better it feels right. Even if it's difficult, especially when I'm typing lots of words on the computer, you know, and I'm trying to meet a deadline of keeping a writing streak, um, it still feels better to go through that, to not know what to write, to not have the words, than to have not written at all. So even though I'm getting older and older and older and I feel like this dream this hope of becoming some sort of writer of sharing my writing with other people um, making something of myself with it seems to be getting further away the older I get I I still keep doing it and maybe maybe the you know several years down the road it will be my time to to actually be considered a writer I don't I don't know but that's one of my hopes and dreams and at the same time one of my fears one of my fears is that that I'll never be I'll never be a writer a real writer a person who, a writer is someone who writes but you know in, in the public eye in society and in financially supporting yourself a writer is someone who's been published and, uh, all, uh, you know, has more merit and I just, I'm, ne I'm nowhere near that. So, uh, at my age, without any mentors or much edu any education behind me, I feel a bit lost of this but still compelled to write.